Vanessa Bryant's daughter Natalia is supporting her mother during a difficult time. The mother-daughter duo were photographed holding hands on Monday as they arrived at a Los Angeles courthouse for Vanessa's trial against Los Angeles for graphic photos allegedly disseminated of the site of the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant, Gianna Bryant, and seven others. E! News reports that Vanessa's famous friend Ciara was also present on Monday at court to show support. On Friday, Vanessa took to the stand to testify, getting emotional while we're counting when she found out about the March 2020 LA Times report that first broke the news of allegations that Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department deputies had allegedly shared unauthorized images from the scene of the tragedy. The 40-year-old got emotional, saying her NBC News, quote, I just remember not wanting to react because the girls were there. I said to my friend, I can't do this. And I bolted out of the room. I ran to the side of the house so the girls couldn't see me. And I broke down crying. I wanted to run down the block and scream, but I can't escape. I can't escape my body. I can't escape what I feel. Vanessa also said that she felt, quote, blindsided, devastated, and hurt when she found out about the alleged capturing and spreading of the photos as she trusted LASD, quote, not to do these things. Also adding that she lives in fear of seeing the images on social media, saying she never wants her children to come across them. Speaking of Kobe and Gianna's relationship with her three-year-old daughter, Capri, who was just seven months when her sister and father passed, Vanessa also said, Capri has no relationship with them. She didn't know what they were like. I don't want her to see these photos. Vanessa sued LA County in September 2020, seeking damages for emotional distress. The lawsuit argues that her privacy was invaded when Los Angeles Sheriff's Department deputies and Fire Department personnel allegedly shared photos of the crash site with others. On the day news of Vanessa's lawsuit surfaced, the LA County Sheriff's Department shared a statement to NBC News. Shortly following this tragic crash, Sheriff Villanueva sponsored legislation, which now makes it a crime for public safety personnel to take and share non-official pictures of this nature. Due to the pending litigation, we are unable to offer further comment. Earlier this month, Mira Hashmel, an attorney representing LA County, argued in a statement to multiple outlets that the case is about whether the county publicly disseminated crash light photos in violation of the plaintiff's constitutional rights. The answer is no, the statement read in part. From the time of the crash to now, the county has worked tirelessly to prevent its crash site photos from getting into the public domain. Over two and a half years later, no county photos have appeared in the media. None can be found online, and the plaintiffs admit they've never seen them.